All right, guys. I'm still getting over pneumonia, so bear with me. But we're here for it. Futuristic Epiphany featuring NF. Oh, so this isn't an NF track, but he's featured on it. Okay. Futuristic. I don't know that I've heard anything. I don't know who Futuristic is. But let's get right into it, guys. Let's see what they got for us. Don't drink energy drinks, they're bad for you guys. Especially when you're getting I over pneumonia. I was repeating history. I was doing everything. I hated a weight on my shoulders. I let it all get to me. I had an epiphany. I just smile at my enemies. I was listening to everybody who was talking, but never did shit for me. Yeah. I had an epiphany. I was looking Hey, at wait, that's the first curse word I've heard on an NF track. Interesting. But he's saying he had an epiphany, he woke up and realized, he, you know, he wasn't going where he wanted to. You know, it's it's constant self-examination that really um, drives progression and, and growth as a human being. And and as a, a music artist, a, a carpenter, a sales representative, a nurse, doctor, whatever you do for a living, you know. I was talking but never did shit for me, yeah. I had an epiphany. I was looking at everybody else. It's up in the industry. They ain't as sick as me. They ain't as sick as me. I had an epiphany. I was seeing somebody that interesting. So like it's it's showing futuristic going to a spot in the room, and then it you know it turns around and it's NF. Uh, interesting. So I wonder if that's kind of just saying like they're both in the same boat as far as this mentality. But had no good intentions for me. Now she missing me. Uh. Yeah. Moral of the story is nobody did it for me, had to make a change. Nah. I was living in the city with no scene, I had a dream, I had to make a lane. Yeah. Yeah. Always knew that I couldn't live off a minimum wage, dripping the pay stuff. I had a minimal taste for all the fame stuff. But I got into the game without a cent to my name, and now I'm balling like I'm in the NBA, bruh. And I know I got a lot, but I'm not content. Yeah. If they ask me to stop, I will not consent. Yeah. Never let nobody block, it's my shot to miss. Yeah. You can meet me at the top if you hop the fence, and you climb the stairs, and you fight the beast, and you lose your way, then you find your peace. And do it sober, then you find a drink, then you spiral down, and it all repeats. And I always had a vision, I could get it, so I did it by my lonely. I don't owe nobody, nothing, never let nobody own me. Got some money from the music, and I spend it on the homies, but don't put nothing before me. Gave it with to little Brody, and I'm only getting started. And I'm meeting with the people that I start with. Man, he's he's there bussing tables, man. I I mean, I, I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm in the same position, and I'm, I'm actually looking for a job right now. I'm in a transition period. The construction project I was working on got shut down. Um, some of the temps, temps got, um, they, they screwed some things up big time and, and I was one of the temps. I didn't screw anything up, but the, the foreman said, you know, basically get off, man. I mean, um, I haven't bussed tables. I've worked in, um, restaurants, you know, gen, uh, general manual labor. Um, I started a construction business in the, in the spring, but right now I can't do anything cause it's, there's snow on the ground. I decided not to do snow removal. And I, I have to stick with that for now. Um, man, I mean, it, you know, it's 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 hard to overcome when you're in that daily grind of doing whatever whatever job it is. I mean, the majority of people start they, they know what it's like to do this kind of a job, man. And it's hard to get out of that cycle and, and to build up um, different ways to, so that you can live the life you want. But um, that doesn't mean it's it's not worth trying anything worth doing is typically hard and if it's easy everyone would have done it but i'll i'll shut up guys but don't put nothing before me gave a whip to little brody and i'm only getting started and i'm meeting with the people that i start with and my batteries i had to recharge them i made an album but that shit was garbage yo i was trapped in a gimmick I hey man get it. hang on i i appreciate the he said i made an album but that was garbage is he i think he's saying that about his own music which is um Dude, I, I I don't make music right now, but I I tried doing it and I I, I do write. Um I made a song when I was like seventeen and then listen to it now and I'm like garbage. Exact is garbage, man. I there were some good elements of it, but the vast majority if someone listened to it, they'd be like, This is garbage. So and I'm here to make music that matters. If I die, it'll all be all right. Cause the message I gave you will live for me after. In my chapter will highlight a lifetime of energy gave through a bright mind. How you never had to stand on the sideline. How you the guide to your own guidelines. That's an epiphany. I had an epiphany, yeah. 
That's an epiphany An epiphany, yeah I had an epiphany That I could make history That I could prove everyone wrong That told me I wasn't cut out for this music thing Yeah I had an epiphany, what if I took my energy and use it on positive things in my life instead of the people that lie to me, huh? Yeah, I had an epiphany that I could put all of my hurt into music and use it for people that might feel the same as me. Hey, man. Yeah, I had an epiphany, what if everyone knew my depression was worse than they thought? They probably gonna look at me differently. Yo, this song got me going back when I was a stupid kid Thinking maybe I can make it in the music biz And then I figured out the politics and realized that Half of y'all don't even know what music is And going nowhere, I told them to get you Man, the commercial rap I mean, I said it in the last um, I, I just did the reaction to warm-up And the commercial rap is I mean, the music industry is an industry And there's a lot of money to be made in it And uh, to me, the, if you put money before artistic integrity you you are not making quality art by definition um now that's not to say if you make quality art and you also are good on the business side and know how to sell it and market it that's great but if your goal is specifically um to to make money and then you're like well i think music is the best way to make money and then that's how you move forward, then you're going to make some some stuff that won't last. I mean, the people might listen to it for a year, and then you're gone. And you might drop another album. People listen to it for a year, and they forget about it. And then one day when, when they're 60 years old and they hear something that sounds like it, they're like, hey, you remember that one artist back in the day who had that, those two songs? <laughs> um I'll I won't bang on about it, guys. Here, but um, let's keep going. And I figured out the politics and realized that half of y'all don't even know what music is. And going nowhere, I told them to get used to me. Feels like I'm living in a movie scene. A bunch of people trying to tell me how to act and breathe. One thing I never let nobody ever do is tell me who to be. I never got into the party scene. Maybe I was just scared to drink. Cause addiction it runs in my family. That's someone I was scared to be. Y'all looking pitiful yeah, compared man. to me since I can barely read. All I wanna was somebody I could trust that I knew would keep it real with me. Rap's always been a man for me. That's when I figured out that maybe I'm the one that's gotta make it on my own. Yes. Yeah, Clear to see. A lot of people thinking what I'm doing is a gimmick. Everything you hear me right now, I've been living. I ain't quitting, sending money to my family. Trying to show them that I miss them and I cherish every moment when I'm humble, when I'm with them. And it's just the way that I feel. In the industry of fakes, trying to stay real. In the industry of lames, trying to get deals. Lord knows I'm going to get it that sneak mill. Yeah. I lay in my bed at night thinking there's got to be more to me. I'm trying to pay off the mortgage and for the life of the people I love in the midst of it. I've always thought that if I learn from mistakes. Yeah, wait. I was like, that sounds like NF's voice. Okay, okay. I, I mean, they're essentially saying they both deal with the same thing and that they, they have a very similar mindset as far as how they interact with music. Mortgaging for the life of the people I love in the midst of it. I've always thought that if I learn from mistakes that I make, even losses of victories, that's when it starts hitting me. If you set your mind to it, you can do anything. That's an epiphany. Hmm. That's an epiphany. I had an epiphany. I had an epiphany, yeah. Yeah, so, well, well, I'll play it to five seconds. I don't want to miss anything, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, So, yeah, man, I mean, um, I'm one of those people that has to have an epiphany. <laughs> I'm not, I... I I was never good at, and I'm still not great at making the best decision right away and using my practical brain. Sometimes I have to make a decision and and commit to that decision and then hit a realization that I made the wrong decision. Now, I'm, I'm a lot better with it now that I've gotten older and there's there's different things um, in my life that have kind of changed me. Um, so I'm better with it, but I still make a lot of the same mistakes um, and, and I'm not one of those people who just knew what to do and I made, you know, if, if everyone wanted to make the most secure decision in the world, everyone would be an accountant. Um, you know, it's, it's job security, it's, it's safe, it's smart, um, you make good money, above average pay, like, but uh I don't really know where I was going. I'm starting to get pneumonia brain, I think. But um, yeah, ultimately, guys, I mean, having a big moment 
can be a very beneficial thing. But what you do after that big moment and and how you let that epiphany change you is is crucial. And as life goes on, if you have more epiphanies, you know, try to figure out what you did right when you had that big moment. Um, and then hopefully try to apply it to to your next big moment where you have this shocking realization that um, you need to do something or that you're doing something wrong or, or you need to you know end a relationship, start a relationship or, or whatever it is. Um, I'll wrap this one up. You guys take care um, and stay safe wherever you're watching the video from.